Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are doing a bunch of Japanese tracks from Kepler uh, today. Their song Straight Line just came out four days ago, but we need to roll it back to the two others that I have also not heard. Well, Grand Prix I have reacted to a live stage of. I think they performed that for one of the end of the year award shows that I reacted to over on Patreon and Fourth Wall, and I really enjoyed the track, but I haven't seen the actual MV, so we're gonna do that as well. Roll it back to over a year ago when they released I Do, Do You, and then that will be all of the Japanese tracks that I have not heard. They started off, Wing Wing was the first, I believe, and I really, really enjoy that song. We are, uh, unfortunately, quite possibly, it seems kind of written in stone now in some ways, nearing the end. I, uh, I was just talking about it in my chat that Kepler has like three months to go with their contracts. And I know that they constantly release, they release these articles that are like they're working on something. They're in discussions of contract extensions. Personally, I don't know if I really see that going through. I know that Kepler hasn't exactly kept that same popularity as they did when they first debuted with, you know, Girls Planet ending and all that, but they have really, this is the bread and butter. They've really had a foothold, I know, in Japan. They have a large Japanese audience, so there is hope there maybe. I don't, I don't know if maybe you have some respect to where it's like there's a contract where like they occasionally could promote in in Japan solely, like have J Japanese releases while also going to wh where we've heard some members are going to go, Limelight, XG, and, and so on. I don't know, maybe K-pop contracts are weird. Sometimes things like that can happen. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we are reacting to KBK Restaurant actually over on Patreon and Fourth Wall, and I really love that show. So we've got two episodes down on that, and I'd love if you would join us because uh, if you have not seen that show, you must. It's fantastic, and it just kind of reignited my interest just in Kepler in general because they're so charming on that show, and it's so much fun. So we're going to go from the most recent back in time, starting with Kepler's Straight Line. Let's go. Oh, this is... Oh, is this feeling... Early 2000s, late 90s. What the What is that thing wearing? What's on her neck? Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting the brass. This, this especially, it feels for some reason like super early 2000s to me. Like, I don't know, you take like a pop starlet and then you throw like, I don't know, Santana's on the track. This is this, kind of reminding me of that. Ooh. Oh my god! What was that shot? The intensity! What the hell? That's not what are you doing? My god. Sans vocals.
No, oh, this might be the best they've ever been styled. Like, runway looks to the oop degree. Dude, she has such crazy it girl, like, uh, potential. Uh, she's got to be doing something great. Youngin's got to be doing something crazy after this. If Kepler doesn't exist, we're saying, in the future, uh, she's got to just keep it going. Uh, that's the name of the album, isn't it? Isn't that the name of the Japanese album? Isn't it, like, kept going? I kept seeing that name pop up on all these concept photos, which also were insane, and proved true in this music video they look fantastic songs really catchy um kind of just keeps keeps on moving too i like the pace of the track feels like runway runway ish got a great dance beats but it changes up sound a lot i like the acoustic guitar that comes in let's check out it again pause a little bit talk a little bit about it they all look just so fantastic in this yeah, although i feel like i didn't see much yujin at all uh, just a little bit. Try to notice a little bit more this time. Ever since reacting to that the the Kebi K restaurant show, now I have such a soft spot spot from Mashiro that has just I don't know what happened. Whoa, I love the transition. It's like a little interstitial piece. It's part of her top, I think. Yeah, that's so strange looking. Look at that. Ooh. This part specifically, just this part, I don't know why, but I was getting, I was like getting some like Wudersenio vibe. I don't know what it is. It, for some reason, I just felt that in the back of my brain. I don't know if like shades of last sequence or what. I mean, the horns are fun. I don't know if I like them so much. Oh, I like the drop, though. Oh, this trio powerful. Tayan has one of my, she has one of my favorite tones in this group. I just love her voice. It's got just a, just the right amount of stank on it. That was the shot. I'm pausing a lot, but I'm sorry. Sounds smooth on this. <laughs> yes, I was having some kind of like Yuna arc. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think Young Moon kind of owns the looks in this video. I think 
people people are in somewhat of a agreement that this is maybe one of those groups where maybe it's one of the reasons why they are popular in Japan. I don't know where their title tracks and their, their just promoted tracks for Japan are just a little bit more interesting or just a little bit more sticky on the ear uh, than the Korean title tracks. Possibly. Um, yeah, I do know that they have one more Korean comeback coming. I can't. Ima I wouldn't imagine that you'd you would go out on a just a, you know a Japanese album that would just be a little weird. So I do know that they they've got to have one more uh, comeback uh, before whatever that July date is. But I really like that song. Really good, solid. They look incredible in it. Like they look fantastic.